Howdy. <laughs> Guess I should take these off today. Uh, I am finally gonna do my pre-emergent treatment back here or on the entire yard. I'm gonna spray pre-emergent today. I'm not gonna use a granular because I'm going fairly light and I wanna make sure I get good coverage. Then uh, I'll talk to you about confusion. A lot of people get confused about using like hose end bottles and I'll show you a simple way to better understand it. Then I'll come back here, I'll cut the rye, uh, I'll hit it with a little green shocker, water it, and that's about it. It's all new today. I spent most of the morning working on the new Zoysia and Bermuda Lawn Guides. Get on the email list. They're free. We leave them up. And when they're ready, I'll shoot out an email and let you know that they're ready. But that's probably the only way you'll know that they're ready. So let's talk about these bottles. I mean, this is going to be an easy way for you to understand. There are two classes of applications. There's a foliar class, something we want to spray, like the weed killers we just did last week. That needs to go out on the leaves in a certain concentration. So if you get it too weak, it's not going to do its job. That's why the hose and bottles work really well. They're pre-measured. You come out, you spray, and I'm already seeing my weeds die. Then there's the ground application or soil application. And where does our pre-emergent need to go? Into the soil. And that Every pre-emergent says, after you apply this, granular wet it into the soil. So it doesn't matter. We actually want it off the foliage and we want it into the ground. We want to water it in. So today, I'm gonna to make it real simple when it comes to using a soil type treatment. I am gonna be actually be using Prodiamine uh, 65 WD. This is a wet, uh, wet dispersible granular. So this is a powder. I only need about nine tablespoons to treat my roughly just below 6,000 square feet. So I have an empty bucket. I'm gonna put nine tablespoons into this bucket. And this entire bucket needs to go onto my lawn. So the right amount of chemicals for me for this treatment is nine tablespoons, which puts me at roughly just about half an ounce per 1,000 square feet. Read the label. So now I've got nine tablespoons in my bucket I need to get on my lawn. If I only put one quart of water in here to fill up one bottle, I will have to be the flash. <laughs> I will have to run around this yard so fast I'll never be able to treat the whole yard. Because at a normal walking pace rate, one of these bottles eh, probably treats about 2,000 square feet of whatever you're putting out. So I obviously don't want to run around the yard. Why is that? It's because it doesn't matter how much water I put in here because this stuff needs to get into the ground. As long as I put the contents, the entire contents of this bucket on my yard, because I've already got nine tablespoons in here, so everything in here needs to go in my yard. So if I want to go really, really slow and put like two, three, two and a half gallons in here and make a whole bunch of these bottles, as long as I evenly apply that to my 6,000 square feet, I'm still going to get my nine tablespoons delivered to my lawn. Got it? So it doesn't matter whether I have one bottle, two bottle, three bottle, four bottle, five bottle, six bottle, it doesn't matter. Seven bottles, eight bottles, nine bottles, five times four, 20 bottles I could fill out of this. If I put it all the water in here, I could do that if I wanted to. I could fill up 20 of these bottles because I still have the same amount of chemical. I just have to sit out here for an hour spraying the lawn, getting it into it. It doesn't matter the amount of water because I'm still gonna water this stuff into the soil anyways because I don't want it sitting on the foliage. So does that make sense? So when you're using something like Super Juice, it, it doesn't matter how much water you use. You just, I mean, for this yard, I only use like two or three cups of Super Juice and treat it. Um, any kind of feeding supplement that you have, uh, I don't know if you have, uh, let's say you have a fungicide that needs to be in the soil. So it's a, so it's a systemic, fungicide that actually goes in through the roots uh, maybe a grub liquid grub killer I don't know whatever it is if it's something in the ground it does not matter how many bottles you use make sense hope so okay so on the label they do a conversion of this and I'll keep you from getting confused but basically I need half an ounce by weight per thousand square foot and each tablespoon is 0.36 so I need six tablespoons plus another half per thousand. So I'm gonna be about six, so about nine tablespoons per 
my whole yard, which is about 6,000 square feet. Got a little bit of water in here. I'm gonna add some green dye and then uh, fill up the bucket about half. And I have to put all that, all that wet, I gotta spray all that on top of my lawn. So let me give you a little tip. I have put a lot of green dye in here so that I make sure I can see where this is going and I get good coverage. I am going to put a two shut off, I'll link to this along with everything else, a two shut off valve. So my hose is gonna go in here. My bottle's gonna go on one of these. This one will be open. So I'm gonna be going by a white picket fence, which is all around my yard. I'm bound to get some of this green dye on it. If I leave it there and let it dry, I'll have to go spray it with some bleach. But what I can do is shut off my bottle, open this one up and rinse it off my fence while it's still wet and it goes right away. Got it? So that's a little trick for you. If you ever need to spray anything with green dye in it um, around certain things, as long as it's wet, it's not gonna stain this green dye. Um, that's the way you do it. So that ended up perfect. I ended up with five spray bottles, which is like what, 1200 square feet per bottle, which is a slow, slow walk. And it was perfect. Let's go look at the back. I sprayed this with the pre-emergent and then I ran the irrigation system on this. And it's been a couple hours and I think it's pretty dry. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm thinking about taking this down a little bit shorter because with this perennial rye, it's really soft. And when it's really soft, um, it just, you can see all the footprints, it just lays down too much. This new Honda HRX that I got. And I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Take her down to three quarters. That'll take it down to about an inch. Oh, man, I guess I'll test the spot here and we'll see what it looks like. But man, that cuts low. So uh, that looks pretty good. Got it down to uh, about one inch. I've got to put down my pre-emergent. Got it down to about an inch. And now I think what I'm gonna do, I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm just gonna hit it with some green chalker and then water it again. Put that pre-emergent down in and get that green chalker down in here. Linda, you're gonna have to move, baby. <laughs> you're gonna have to move. So. I'm using this bag of green shocker, and this is, of course, 100% all fast release. The particles are the size of sugar or salt instantly into the ground. I'm putting about a quarter, a fifth of a bag back here uh, every week, and that's all I'm putting back here right now. And it's just doing great. Man, you look pretty on there, Lind. You're going to have to move, though. I'm just using a little hand spreader is all I'm doing. Ooh, see if I can do this. 
without having a disaster on my hands. One handed pour. That is about what I'll put down here. Linda, you gotta move, honey. You gotta move. I move, sweetie. <sighs> Honey, you're gonna have to move. Babe. You're gonna get covered with fertilizer. Yeah, you're gonna get fertilizer. Watch out, move. It. I'm done. So I'm just gonna water, turn the irrigation on, and I'm done. <sighs> okay, so let's hit ratio. And I'm just gonna run this um, number four zone. And I'll just run it for about four minutes. So what am I doing now? Uh, my sprinklers put off a little bit of a finer mist, and so what I'm doing, this hose doesn't run on the private well, so I'm coming through with some heavier droplets. Now that that green chalker is turning into a liquid form, and they're pushing it further down in. So, kind of tough to do this on a full yard, but back here it's easy. So my sprinklers are going to actually turn, my sprinklers will actually wet all that green chalker, and turn it into a liquid form and just barely get it into the soil. And then I'll come back by with my hose and sort of blow it back in. Plus I got the pre-emergent here. I want to make sure it gets down in. And I'm pretty much done. So it's actually the next morning and we are supposed to have thunderstorms tonight. And here's a little tip for you. If you put something down like a pre-emergent or something that's gonna go in the soil, make sure even though you have a thunderstorm coming by, um, that it's wetted into the soil. Once it's in the soil, you're all set. If you get a heavy, heavy pounding thunderstorm where you get runoff, you don't have to worry about it because it's already in your soil. I've covered this before where if you have dry soil and put a treatment on, you want to wet it in, wet it in, wet it in because the runoff, that stuff will be in the soil and not run off with this heavy downpour. I don't have to worry because we're gonna have, it's actually misting right now. So we've got light rain during the day today and then tonight with thunderstorms, so I'm fine. So any of my treatments that I've put down here are gonna be into the soil and they're gonna be protected from that runoff. Um, that's one of the things I like about green chalker versus like a slow release fertilizer is you have total control of it. You get it into the soil immediately. You don't have to worry about any runoff, but <laughs> I am actually out here picking up poo with my poo picker upper. My wife ordered this, I didn't think I'd like it, and I love it. <laughs> so I'm out here picking up poo. I love this thing, it's great. Anyways, get on the email list, and what I'll do is uh, I'll shoot you guys out an email when those guides are ready. Talk to you later, Doc. Mm -hmm.